shut. There's someone at your door. Guys, let's start. Welcome to the praise session. Yeah. Let's go there. In this gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with tonight, Yahushua, we know that we're two or more gathered in your name. You come and you dwell among them and you do amazing, wonderful things. And we know that Satan hates us and he hates us praising your name. And so we're doing it in his face. And we just love you so much, Yahushua. We want to praise you because it's all about love. We love you. And we just want to make a joyful noise to you tonight. Give me all in my hand, give me all in my hand, give me all in my hand, give me all in my hand. 
what's ahead and the raging
Stay in me, and I 
sing a song of celebration Lift up a shout of praise For the bridegroom will come The marvelous one And oh, we will look on his day And we'll be in much better place Dance with all your mind, dance with all your mind
streets that are golden, beautiful bright, great son of man, every tongue, tribe and nation will join, and some will land. We will dance in the streets that are golden, beautiful bright, Great son of man, every time try the nation joy in the song of the land. They will joy in the song of the land. Tonight, we're going to talk about the word open. Um, what that really means in our lives, being open to what? Let's have a look. There's a hint there what we're supposed to have opened. In the Hebrew understanding, the word open means to gap open, to mend a breach, to repair, to cleave, to break, rip open, be ready to burst, to cleave asunder, cut out, divide, hatch, tear, win, to reveal, to advertise, appear, be ray, bring, carry, lead, go, discover, exile, be gone, open, uncover, to trumpet, in other words, to blow on that instrument, blow or sound the trumpeteer, to be open, wide or free, safe, avenging, defending and deliverance, help, preserve, rescue, be safe, bring or having salvation, get victory, make a banquet, to be clear, conspicuous, the forehead as open and prominent, the brow or forehead, or an eye, 
a fountain as the eye of the landscape. Affliction, outward appearance, a firstling as opening the matrix, to open the senses, especially the eyes, to be observant, to act as a gatekeeper, to estimate, to think, to unveil, to be open. So there's a lot in that word open in the Hebrew. Let's look at some scriptures to go with it. In Psalm 119, David says, Open my eyes to see the wonderful truths in your Torah. Open my eyes to see the wonderful truths in your Torah. All these scriptures are going to give us a hint as to what's going on around us. In Jeremiah 29, Yahuwah says, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. And this one was a good one. This blew my brains out, this one. 2 Kings 6. Then Elisha prayed and said, O Yahuwah, please open his eyes that he may see. So Yahuwah opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Something going on in a completely different dimension that we can't see. Matthew 6, the eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. Luke 24, then he opened their minds so they could understand his Torah. He opened their minds so they could understand his Torah. If he doesn't open your mind, you can't understand anything. He opens our minds. Ephesians 1, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened or open so that you will know what is the hope of his calling what are the riches of the esteem of his inheritance in the set apart ones again paul's praying that their eyes will be opened this is sort of showing us that uh, without that happening you're just talking to a brick wall eyes have to be opened awareness Awake, these were some of the words that I looked up to get to the word open. Didn't, didn't find much in those words. And then it led me to, I forget how it led me, but it just got to the word open. So awareness, awake, conscious, sober-minded, open. Through his perfect blood, Yahushua mended the breach between the dimensions, making open communication available to anyone willing to go through the narrow gate. And if we travel this hard-pressed path of deliverance, we discover so much we never thought possible, mainly within ourselves, as Yahushua opens us up and makes us aware of all his secrets, which are hidden to most of this dimension. This dimension you cannot understand or see much of him and what's going on in the other dimension. You can see there from that picture, that's the scripture that blew me away. But his divine knowledge experience is readily available to us, his firstlings. That was part of the word open. We are his firstlings, new creations, reborn and being transformed to be just like him. Because so far he is the only being that exists like him, spirit and, spirit and flesh and blood. And we are, we've been reborn to be like him when we're finally transformed. Check this out. Imagine having your eyes opened to suddenly, sorry, imagine having your eyes open to another dimension and suddenly seeing horses and chariots of fire surrounding you. They were obviously already there, but not visible to the natural eye. How much is really going on all around us that we don't even see? That's how I saw it. This was all happening in that photo. Go back a bit. That was all happening, but the guy couldn't see it because it's, it's in a different dimension. And suddenly Elisha says, open his eyes. Why, wham, he can see something from another dimension. Like, that's just mind-blowing. I mean, that's what we've been talking about the last few meetings about demons, about Satan, about seeing something that's invisible, recognising it. 
there's a whole dimension going on around. It's not up in heaven. Heaven's not up there somewhere. It's right here. It's right here in another dimension. You guys know all about dimensions. You love all that multiverse stuff. So we need to be able to see this. But you can't see it unless he's opened our eyes. How much is really going on all around us that we don't even see? Why don't we see it? We don't see because it's spiritual or in another dimension altogether. We really do know nothing and rely purely on what Yahushua reveals to us. Our eyes, our ears, our heart, our mind, our senses. That's why Paul was praying, please open their eyes. David was praying, open my eyes that I might understand your Torah. But, <clears throat> but we only receive more through repeated exposure to his word and his voice. And the devil has this world purposely designed, like a matrix, to keep everyone's eyes fixated on the bling, the entertainment, the desires, and their ears full of noise everywhere. Noise, traffic, radio, people, earpods, all the physical self-existence. Noise, oral and visual stimuli all the time. There's rarely a time when someone allows themselves to be alone with just their thoughts before Yahushua. For that would be the definition of agony and loneliness to someone who's never tasted his deliverance. They orchestrate their day so that they've got entertainment constantly in their hand, in their ears, everywhere. They go to sleep with it. Never want any kind of silence. We really have no say or control over what another person can see of Yahushua's reign. But we can use the three rules which gets us out of the doorway of stumbling for them, allowing Yahushua to open their hearts. So we can do that. Get out of the doorway. The way you get out of the doorway is you start doing the rules, consciously doing the rules, so Yahushua's at them. There's a whole... Keep going. There's a whole other invisible world going on all around you, are you open to it? Open the eyes of my heart that I might see your wonders. That's the message, guys. I mean, this is from Yahushua's point of view, but um, funny timing, we, we just recorded one just last night about Satan and it's all about a similar thing. We don't see, we don't recognise, we don't check thoughts we don't it's another dimension it's invisible you know if all these hideous creatures were coming at you in the natural you'd probably believe it wouldn't you they came and start smacking you in the face well isn't that happening all day every day getting smacked in the face by things but it's internal it's invisible it's another dimension and that's why we can plead and harp and beg people to we're blue in the face but he, if he hasn't opened their eyes you're just an idiot. You're just a weird religious freak. So that's why we need to start talking to Yahushua and pray. Open their eyes. Give me something to say. I'm ready. Wait for him. You know? Put it back in his court. Because otherwise, you, we don't want to be like those weird religious idiots out there just handing out things for the sake of it. We're asking that Yahushua open their eyes. So. Open mine today. Open yours today? Mm -hmm. How, darling? Look at my father. Yeah? Mm. Know exactly what it is. Yeah? Saw some things? Sheer evil. That's mm. it. That's all it is. Mm. Absolute hatred. Yeah? So good. Let him have his life. Mm. I'll wait for Yahushua to do what he does best. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yahushua said he's going to hate. Yahushua said we're going to be hated. But we don't think we're worth hating. We think we're wonderful. Until you realise you're not. And Satan hates us. So. But Yahushua loves you, darling. This is something we all have or have to go through, facing that everyone around you, particularly friends, family, close ones, 
going to be used by evil to get him. Yeah, like all the multiverse stuff, Mikey. Do what you might. Good. Love you guys. See you later. Bye. Do it. Want to add anything, Lanisha? Can you hear us? Do you want to add anything? on many different levels. Amen. You have to have a, you have to have a talk with Lanisha. Tell her what's happened to you. She knows all about hateful fathers. Oh. Yeah. You want to share it with her. Come on. Let's see. My finger. Sing to Yahuwah. Make music to his name. Pay attention, O Israel, for my heart beats. Come on, let's sing. Sing to Yahuwah. Sing it loud. Make music to his name. Make music to Pay attention, O Israel. Pay attention. Just for him.